This week in IT, Microsoft has launched an AI agent that tidies up your SharePoint content. And at the same time, Redmond has rolled out agents that write Word documents and analyze your spreadsheets for you. Plus, there's a new unified marketplace for AI tools. And Windows 11 24H2 is getting enterprise grade Wi Fi 7, bringing blazing fast speeds and WPA free security. So stay tuned for all the latest. Welcome to This Week in IT, the show where I talk about everything connected to Windows, Azure and Microsoft 365. Today's show is sponsored by our friends at Chaosoft. While you might think that SharePoint is just a dumping ground for your corporate files, it's a lot more than that and it now plays a more important role than ever, considering that many organisations are looking to use Microsoft 365 Copilot. Now, late last week, Microsoft announced the new SharePoint knowledge agent. And from the people that have laid their hands on it till now, it's in preview at this stage, it looks like it's something that's going to be really useful. So the idea of this agent is really to organize all of the data that you have, all of the content you have inside SharePoint. So for instance, it can do things like add a metadata to your files. So for instance, that means adding additional information that helps you to organize it and importantly helps co Copilot to find information when you make some kind of query in the Copilot chat app, for instance. So it can add information like whatever you decide, really, category or some kind of additional information that is useful to identify that exact content in SharePoint. So it can help you to do that, add all of this metadata automatically. So while you have may have some system in SharePoint at the moment for adding this, it's a manual process. It requires users to actually decide what that meta tag information should be, if you can get them to even follow a process to do this. So the idea is to provide this in an automatic agent so that you have this metadata always available. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, can Copilot really accurately add this metadata to my content? And the answer is, well, Possibly, it might not get it 100% right all of the time, but you also have to consider that allowing you know users to manually add this metadata isn't always correct as well <laughs> you know sometimes things get misclassified or you can't find something because somebody added the wrong information so people are not perfect ai is not perfect but it helps to get you at least some of the way there and is probably better than nothing at all now microsoft is also saying that this agent will automatically fix broken links on your sharepoint sites will manage tag policies classify documents and even you can use it to build branded pages in SharePoint. I'm quite interested in this because I think that search is such a critical thing in organisations. We all spend a lot of time trying to find the information that we need to do our work and that can really be a big productivity killer. So the more effective search can be, the more effective co-pilot can be in summarising documents, finding the relevant documents and making those semantic links between documents with the semantic search that you get built into Copilot, the better off and the more productive we're all going to be. So I think this is quite exciting. Now, this is in preview at the moment. You need to have a Microsoft 365 Copilot license and it will be in preview from November the 1st. You need to enable it, your IT it needs to enable this at the site level in SharePoint. And Microsoft says they're hoping for general availability in early 2020. Before I go on to the next story, I've got a quick favour to ask you. As we go live today, we're on about 13,535 subscribers. I'd love it if we could push that up to 13,600 this week. If you'd like to help us meet our goal, then please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification to make sure that you don't miss out on the latest uploads. While I'm on the subject of AI agents, Microsoft also announced that they're bringing what they're dubbing a vibe work in. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of that term or, or vibe coding. Of course, vibe working is inspired from the whole 
vibe coding thing where developers essentially create applications using natural language prompts instead of writing the code directly. They're taking this idea, bringing it into the Office apps. They're calling it, you know, vibe working. And what this means is instead of what you have today where you can ask Cho Copilot Chat to kind of look at the document, maybe summarize things, maybe to analyze the information there, provide something based on that information. This new system of agents will essentially allow you to really create things either from scratch or based on information that you already have. So imagine you have an Excel spreadsheet. You could ask it to do much more uh, deep analysis on that information and turn the information into graphs inside the actual spreadsheet itself using the Excel functionality that's already there, create pivot tables, all that kind of thing that you have not been able to do with the Copilot chat up until now. Now, even the stuff in Copilot chat that we have today, in my mind, doesn't work all that well compared to bringing that same information over to ChatGPT, for instance. And I'm really hoping that this is going to change the game a little bit because it would be really nice if Copilot really was able to perform as well as ChatGPT natively without having to pull that information out. Now, Microsoft is saying that these agents know how to work with Excel in a way that no other AI technology does. Of course, the proof is in the pudding. We'll have to get our hands on this and see whether that really works out. I'm always a little bit dubious of these fancy demonstrations that Microsoft gives. If you remember back, I think it's already two, three years ago when this whole co-pilot thing was announced and they gave all these fancy demonstrations of what this co-pilot was going to be able to do with Excel. And to be honest, at least in my experience, it really hasn't lived up to those promises. So maybe this is a step forwards to making those things a reality. Microsoft says that in Excel, Excel, their AI was able to score something like a 53% uh, mark in some kind of accuracy test that they uh, exposed it to. And they say, how does that compare to people doing the same work that people are able to usually do it with about 73% accuracy? So they're saying, well, this isn't, you know, completely accurate. And there's of course of a, a fear that it's just going to produce a whole load of rubbish, but it's a starting point. It's a starting point and it will tell you exactly how it it's you know, calculated and determined various things so that you can check the logic and decide whether it's something you should accept as fact or fiction. They're also introducing a new Office agent as part of Microsoft Copilot Chat, and that will be able to create documents essentially from scratch. So for Word and for PowerPoint, as far as I understood, these are going to use Anthropic's Claude agents rather than ChatGPT. Not quite sure what, why that decision was made. Assumedly, they think that the Anthropic agents and LLMs are able to do this better than the ones from OpenAI. Don't know. I guess that must be the reason. But that's also an interesting development. Now, Microsoft says these things are only available in the online versions of Word and PowerPoint at the moment, and that you have to obviously be a Microsoft Copilot 365 subscriber and part of the Frontier program. So there's quite limited access to all this stuff right now, but these things will be coming to everybody with the right licenses at some point, hopefully in the first half of 2026. So it'll be interesting to see how those things actually work in practice. This week, Microsoft also announced that they're merging the Azure Marketplace and App Source into a single application, a unified store, if you like, and that this will have you know, over 3,000 partner apps and agents for AI. So it's like a trusted source. You can trust these agents to work with your information ethically and securely. Let me know what you think about all of the changes Microsoft is bringing to Microsoft 365 Copilot. Do you think these things are going to be good enough to make a difference to have you users actually trusting that that stuff is going to work or is it too little too late? Are people
people already using other solutions like Anthropics Claude or OpenAI's ChatGPT? Let me know what you think in the comments below. There's been lots of talk about Windows 10 and Windows 11 this week. I don't want to go all over all of that stuff again. Lots of organizations are petitioning Microsoft apparently to not you know, end support for Windows 10 and all the rest of it. We've heard that a million times about Windows 10 is reaching end of life if it hasn't already sometime this month. And this week, Microsoft said, well, Windows 11 24H2, which isn't the new version that's just been released, 25H2, but 24H2 is getting support for Wi-Fi 7 and WPA3 enterprise grade security. So what exactly is this? Well, it's a new Wi-Fi standard, if you like, it requires hardware that actually supports it. So you need appropriate switches, access points, routers, whatever, and Wi-Fi network interface cards in your devices. And it provides a whole load of benefits like seamless roaming so that you get fast transitions and it reduces the re-authentication delays where you move from one Wi-Fi zone to another. You get multi-link operation and 320 megahertz channel boost to essentially increase the throughput of your Wi-Fi networks. And this also brings lower latency for things like video conferencing. So you think Teams and all the rest of it, Zoom, where latency can be a real problem. And of course, WPA free enterprise grade security brings more secure, trusted Wi-Fi networks. You will need enterprise grade access points to be able to make use of that, as I said. So do take that that's into consideration when you're deploying a new Wi-Fi network for your offices. I'm going to leave you with another video on the screen now where we look at Snapdragon's new X2 Elite processors that were announced last week and will be coming to Windows hardware in the first half of 2026. So you've got that to look forward to. Thank you again to our sponsors, Chaosoft. And that's it from me for this week. And I'll see you next time.